Hello, this is Robert with Sparkfun Electronics and we have some new products that we want to share with you this week. We're going to show you a few of what we have and if you go to the website we've got a lot more to check out. Here we have an alphanumeric driver board. It works with our alphanumeric displays that we've been selling for a little bit. We have them in red, we've got a blue, and we've also got a greenish yellow. They simply connect into the board like so. You solder it from the back side and you have a nice neat little package for an alphanumeric driver. They hook together like this and they connect with the headers on the back. We have a library written for Arduino that's on the website so we provide you with example code and the library to get you started. You just use whatever your favorite microcontroller is. And if we plug this in we see that it writes a little message. You can make that scroll, you can make it static, you can do whatever you want with it. Here we have another little useful handy product. We've got an infrared remote control and an infrared receiver diode. You can use these together or separately, however you want to use them. And we've got the remote control, which has all your basic um, on, off, channel, volume, all that good stuff. And we've got the receiver diode, which will receive the commands from the remote control. We've got this hooked up to an Arduino and we're actually using the example code that we've got posted on both of these products pages. If you look over at the computer screen you can see that each time we press a button a different message comes up depending on which button we press. So you can have your Arduino or any other microprocessor say exactly what buttons you pressed and do an action based upon that. So it's pretty cool to add wireless remote control to your project. If you're looking for a really inexpensive graphic LCD screen, the Nokia 5110 is a great little screen. It's actually got the same driver as the 3310, and if you look online, there's tons of information for the 3310. There's examples, um, all sorts of different projects based on it. So you can find a lot of information about these. And the other nice thing is, the pins are just easy to solder to, you can put headers, you can do whatever you want with that, and they're all nice and labeled. And it's also got a backlight, which is what the other one didn't have. We have a few more RFID tags to add to our lineup. These are all MyFair 1K tags, which means that in addition to their built-in RFID unique ID, they also have 1K of memory. You can have a bank of data, up to 1K of data, in addition to the unique ID that you can store phone numbers, email addresses, people's names, anything else. So instead of just swiping the card or the tag and having it allow someone access or deny someone access, it can also identify the person or identify other qualities about the tag. We have three different ones. We have kind of a large plastic disc that you can use for all sorts of stuff. We've got a laundry tag which is actually quite small and sealed and waterproof so you can sew it into clothing or anything else. And we've also got a really small or really thin transparent tag which not only looks really cool but is extremely thin that you could probably even put in books or something else. And these all work with our MyFair RFID reader um, and you can read and write the data and um, do all sorts of neat stuff with it. So this is just a small sample of the products that are exciting for us this week. We have a lot more listed on the website and we're going to have even more next week. So subscribe to the video feed and um, check out next week for all the more new products that we have. Have a good weekend.